What's going on guys? My name is Kolb and I'm bringing you another video today going actually tonight going to be talking about what are your favorite games? What is your favorite game of all time? Now hear me out. I don't want to hear about oh Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I don't I really don't even want to hear about Call of Duty Black Ops. I don't want to hear Call of Duty at all. Unless, of course, that really is your favorite game, then by all means, go right ahead. No, what I want to know is, what is your favorite game of all time? Very simple. I'm talking that old classic game that you played that you just could not put down. The game that really got you into everything. Um, I have a couple. For me, one of the first games I can ever remember playing as far as shooter games go was obviously... Wolfenstein 3D. Uh, not Return to Castle, Castle Wolfenstein, but actual Wolfenstein 3D. If you've never played it, you are missing out. Now, some of you younger kids, some of you younger guys go out there, if you download this, you'll probably be, probably be like, what the hell? What the hell is this crap? It's just a bunch of pixels. Exactly. You really can't aim. It's just moving around. It's they call it 3D, but it's almost 2D. It's so boxy, but you got to remember, it was the first 3D first-person shooter game out there. Well, I guess it was the first first-person shooter game out there because it was three, the first 3D game, so kind of go together. But it was it was the gameplay. I mean, it was just it was state of the art at the time. And then I moved on from there to Blake Stone, on to Rise of the Triad. And when I would talk about favorites, I think Rise of the Triad has to be easily top five for anybody that you know is into those types of games uh, if you've ever played quake or doom uh the newer doom anything after doom one uh rise of the tree had kind of set the tone for all those games especially games like quake you know the multiplayer rise of the tree had was the first online multiplayer first person shooter game ever ever it was made by a pogey, and it had the first true multiplayer, not just one-on-one. -on -one. Now, I know some of some of you will uh, point to the original Doom game and say, no, it had multiplayer, but you got to remember, you know, Doom came out one year before Rise of the Triad, and it did not ship with a working online multiplayer. Now, it had LAN uh, and serial multiplayer, but it did not have dial-up networking multiplayer at the time of release. It later did, but not at... The, it's released. Rise of the Tree Ebb is actually the first one to do that. And that has to go down as one of my top five favorite games of all time. I guess if I were to pick one, though, I would probably have to go with uh, probably Counter-Strike. To be honest with you, Counter-Strike is hard to top for me, mainly because I spent so many years playing it. And when you're talking about, you know, what's your favorite game of all time, you have to, you know take into consideration multiple things you know one is the quality of the game was it really really good and you know counter-strike is now as far as is it the best quality game of all time probably not you know it leaves a lot to be desired in terms of the amount of you know content that it has in it you know the quality is good don't get me wrong but the amount of content it has in it it's not a lot so it could have had more, you know, it could have had a single player mode, it could have had more weapons, you know, more maps, things like that. Although you do have to give uh, Valve credit, well, even though they didn't develop it, the game was moddable, you know. In fact, it was a mod itself before it became an official game. So, you know, it did have a bunch of community-created content, but there was still more to be desired, you know, in terms of the content of the game, the way it shipped. However... <laughs> However, that's not how we're judging this, or at least I'm not. You know, I'm judging this uh, based on uh, quality, time spent playing the game, you know, a number of other things. And to me, I think Counter-Strike really kind of trumps everything else for my favorite game of all time. Because at the time, it was the most badass game I've ever played. Okay, Zelda, Ocarina of Time definitely is up there in the top five as well. If you've never played Zelda of Ocarina of Time, you need to do yourself a favor, get an emulator, download it, find the ROM, uh, and play it. If you're into RPG games, you this is a must-play. 
You know, it's no, it's no Japanese RPG type of game, but I mean, in terms of quality, it's up there. It, the, probably the one fault that the game had was all the running around that you had to do, but that's true with any RPG almost, and just about any Zelda game, obviously. But it definitely ranks up there. One of my newer favorite games actually just came out would be The Last of Us. That game blew me away. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Revolver, both of those are great games. But honestly, for me, it just comes back down to Counter-Strike. You know, I played it for 10 years. Can't really say that about any other game. I want to know what your favorite game of all time is. Let's hear back from you. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Oh, also, check out my new website. I just got it. my website finished this weekend. Um, it's mynameiscolb.com. You can go there, and it is a central location for my Twitter, my YouTube, uh, my Twitch TV. All of that stuff is all centralized in one location, so you're not kind of hopping around. You're not having to check my Twitter. You know, you don't have to check YouTube, all that. It's all in one location, and you can also see what kind of gear I'm playing with. A lot, of, I get a lot of questions uh, from people asking, hey, what mouse do you use, or what keyboard do you use, what do you record your videos with? What, what kind of computer do you have? Blah, blah, blah. Well, you don't have to ask me that anymore because it's all on my website. I have a, uh, if you click on mynameiscolb.com, go in the top right hand corner and click on gear. It'll actually show you everything that I use. It'll even give you a link on where you can purchase it. Now, there are a couple of items on there that are no longer available for purchase because they discontinued them. You know, they're a little bit older, but you can probably find an equal replacement if you click on the link. So, be sure to check out the website. Let me know what you think. And as always, you guys have a great time, and I will see you next week. Bye.